Ooh, a dark and stormy Friday the 13th, the perfect backdrop for a monster story. As concerned residents here in the city of Kirkland are afraid that a monster of sorts that has been plaguing the area for far too long will be released next week, or at least less visible. Well, I guess it's been several years since a renegade community member and I decided to take matters into our own hands and try to stop all the trucks from crashing into the bridge because they were happening weekly and it seemed so easy to take care of it. I think the banners and the official signs make about an 80% difference. Yet everybody says you can't fix stupid. Well, apparently you can fix it about 80%, which is great. All I ever wanted was for fewer people to have really bad days, and it's been successful. Well, there's tons of signs, it's, but it's kind of a psychology thing where you ignore street signs, but something out of the ordinary will catch your attention and you look and you pay attention. The bridge itself is a historical landmark, so it's not going anywhere. The pickle is that that 11 foot, six inch clearance does not reflect the modern standard of 14 feet. This summer, there was foliage obscuring the official signs, uh, which the city eventually cleared, but only after four trucks had hit the bridge in a 30 day period, including two in one day. I added the baby shark sign. It's a little A-frame. There has not been one strike eastbound in four months and not one westbound in 10 months now. So when we got the news that we we're gonna have to take them down Sunday, so we invited the community to come out and they were like, no. It was an experiment and it worked. And a timely update to the story. I did just talk with the city. They confirmed the city council will meet to talk about the proposed changes to the banner code on Tuesday. However, the bridge in question will be the exception and the banners can stay. Ooh. I like exceptions. <laughs>